your fear grieves the lord see the book of uh, matthew 8:25 2:26 to then his disciples came to him aha uh-huh. and awoke him aha uh-huh. saying lord lord save us save us we are perishing we are perishing but he said to them aha uh-huh. Why are you fearful? Why are you fearful? O you of little faith. O you of little faith. Now let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Suppose there's a doctor, there's a patient and the patient is so afraid of a medication or a treatment or a sickness, the doctor will do what? Oh, don't worry, nothing will happen. Don't be afraid. It's just a minor thing. That's how the doctor will talk, isn't it? You try to, uh, to encourage the, the, the patient You know, so he can t- take the treatment. But look at Jesus. How did he speak here? Read again. Why, Why are you fearful? Why are you fearful? Oh, you of little faith. Oh, you of little faith. By right, Jesus should be. Oh, come on, my children, don't be afraid. I'm father, I'm daddy is here. Don't be afraid. That's how he should have talked, isn't it? He did not talk like that. We can see that he is so frustrated with them. Okay, because they are not newborn babies to him. If this is the first week they are with him, the first time with him, then of course he would have said, "No, don't worry, I'm with you." They, they, they are already half of the journey with him, all the time with him. Hallelujah! And still they had that fear after seeing that the dead man coming alive, after seeing miracles that happening, they still had that fear. Hallelujah! Read, Amma, what do you know? Then he arose mm-hmm. and rebuked the winds and the sea. Uh-huh. and there was a great calm you see most of the time when we are afraid of something you know it does not make god to come and help us you know of course he will help us even at the last moment but god is not happy about it at all tell you he is not happy at all when you are fearful god is not happy about it most of the time in the bible we can see he often scolded his disciples Why are you so doubtful? Oh you little faith. You know, he's not happy at it grieves him. It grieves him. He was disappointed with them. I've shown you everything. I've showed you all my glory, the the signs and wonders yet still you don't believe in me. Still you are afraid of the situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this is what happened whenever you allow fear to come into your heart, it truly grieve the lord hallelujah you see for example i'll put it in this way you are a person who have been driving car for more than 15 years or 20 years okay you are driving the car for 15 to 20 years you are expert driver and one day you know you picked up someone it could be your friend or your relative and that person while sitting beside you when you are driving oh please be careful oh don't turn to the left there's a car coming there oh please there's a lorry coming over here you keep on nagging you like that they don't trust you they're so fearful how would you feel huh angry disappointed why did i took this person with me should have sent this person by the car or by grab let the grab fellow to go through there let me escape Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, this is what you should be thinking, isn't it? You'll be disappointed. You will be grieving, grieving, oh why did I, you know, give a lift for this person? Hallelujah. That's how God would feel. When he knows that he is almighty, that he is in control, he to expect us to know the same thing that he is almighty that he is in control hallelujah sometimes when i talk to certain people in the in the beginning of the ministry when the people when they don't believe in what i'm telling them it grieve my soul say my pastor i've shown you many things here i've teached you from the word of god you have seen the signs and wonders yet you don't believe what i'm telling you right now you know If you are doing something in your field you you are a businessman you are a doctor or you are a uh, you, whatever field you are and someone although you have explained to them showed them they still don't believe it, it will grieve you 
you feel like what is this like how much more i need to tell them hallelujah that's how god feels when we have the fear when we are fearful is like we are insulting god insulting his power putting down his power hallelujah that's why i'm telling you when you are fearful you are expecting god to help you but you don't realize that it truly hurts the lord it hurts the lord hallelujah you see i can tell you another one more example where moses when the lord called him god knows that this moses was a hot temper you know he knows all his ups and down and everything plus and minus and god also know that he is a fearful person and that is why he is afraid of pharaoh and he ran away from pharaoh he came, went to the wilderness hallelujah when the lord went to him the lord showed him in the burning bush in a supernatural way the lord spoke to him and then the lord showed him put in your hand into your pocket you take it out you can see it's like a snow now throw your your staff down it become a snake pick it up it become a rod back again hallelujah when he saw all these signs and wonders god was expecting him to believe but this man was saying no lord don't send me i'm not good in my speech i don't want to go back to the same place why he's afraid of pharaoh he's afraid of pharaoh no god said no moses we have to go no no send my 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 brother aaron to meet pharaoh he said no aaron will be like a prophet to you but i will only speak to you i'm not going to speak to your bro- bro- brother aaron hallelujah and he again again he tried to say that no no and finally he said okay i will go when he was on his way back way back home the lord tried to kill him if the wife was not there moses wouldn't be in the bible hallelujah now what is the reason the lord want to kill him? there's two reason one he said no to god he said no i'm not going though later he agreed but that grieved the lord the second thing he's fearful over man even after seeing the signs and wonders of god when you are fearful it will grieve the lord hallelujah because we insulting the power of god you have seen god showed you signs and wonders yet you don't believe you don't believe hallelujah hallelujah countless of time in the bible god has promised us fear not i am with you fear not i am with you all the time the same promises hallelujah yet still even for little things we are afraid hallelujah in the book of matthew 14 22 to 23 we can see that jesus was disappointed with peter with peter he asked jesus can i walk on the water can i come with you jesus come and as he was focusing on jesus he has his focus on jesus he has the faith he was able to walk on the water but at the moment he looked around fear entered him and he was drawn jesus did not even go and hug him say oh don't be afraid my son i'm with you again he scolded him saying that why are you so doubtful hallelujah we can see this this is the nature of the lord he is truly disappointed he is grieved he is grieved whenever we don't believe in him but pay attention to fear hallelujah hallelujah the devil can never cast out the holy spirit from you the devil can never cast out the holy spirit from you but the devil can use you to have fear in you so that you can cast out holy spirit from you hallelujah devil is not powerful against the holy spirit never at all but the devil use your own flesh which entertains the fear in order to cast out the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah now this is what happening in your life the only thing the disciples didn't do that day is that they never throw Jesus into the sea like how they th- they throw john up maybe they had the plan of you know unloading the boat to make it lighter see that this man is sleeping better put him out thank god they never do that hallelujah but today we are throwing him out out of our life we are doing that how we are doing that by our fear when fear comes in 
out of fear we do not know what we are doing so sin after sin we do and that's what i mean that we are putting out jesus out of our life hallelujah we are putting out jesus out of our life because of fear to cover our sins to cover our sins to overcome that fear we have no other choice we plan we throw jesus out of our boat hallelujah hallelujah this is what i'm telling you when you entertain the fear you're grieving the holy spirit in the book of ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 and do not grieve the holy spirit uh-huh. of god by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption do not grieve the holy spirit of god by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption do not grieve the holy spirit we can see jesus was very sensitive on the time he was alive on this earth 2000 years ago more than he the holy spirit is more sensitive very sensitive you know if you l- allow the fear to enter a little bit that's it enough he will depart from you when the holy spirit depart from you he does he does not give you a notice i will be here only for one month if you are not changing i will leave there's no such thing he will just leave like that you can see that in the, in the, st- the story of samson he did not give a notice samson thought the holy spirit is inside of him So he tried to go and get rid of all the enemies but he could not do that because the holy spirit was already departed from him. I'm telling you when the spirit of the lord departed from you there will be no notice for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is very very sensitive. Very very sensitive. You must be very careful on this path. That's why I'm telling you when you carry a glass full of water when you walk how would you walk? be very careful not to spread off isn't it that's how you should walk if you want the spirit of god to be with you a small wrong a wrong step that's it you'll spill off hallelujah don't you know that he is the living water hallelujah so you should be very careful about this hallelujah so don't open your heart to negative things don't let what you see through your eyes into your heart what you see through your eyes might be the fact but that is not the truth he has a different plans for you hallelujah so what you see is not going to bring an end for your life it is just that what you see that's it that is not the end that is not the end his plans his promises will never fail hallelujah 